The 2021 trend of cloud computing results show that enterprises continue to embrace multi-cloud and hybrid cloud strategies and an increasing spend with vendors across the board. Hi everyone. In this session, we'll come across what is Google Cloud Platform, what is Google Cloud Storage, we'll discuss about different storage classes and a few ways to learn the Google Cloud technologies. But before discussing about these topics, let us first understand why is everyone using Google Cloud Computing? The fact that technology has a great impact on businesses is very evident. Not so long ago, companies had to establish and maintain their own server environment so that they could host and run applications on their premises. One of the very obvious reasons is Cloud provides better insights. It provides us with different collaborations with very ease, the engagement shoots up while using the cloud services, the speed increases, and the efficiency increases as well. Now let us understand what is Google Cloud Platform. GCP is a set of computing networking, storage, machine learning, big data, and management services provided by Google that runs on the same cloud infrastructure that Google uses internally for its end-user products such as Google Search, Gmail, Google Photos, and YouTube. Coming to why use Google Cloud Storage? First of all, it has a single API for all the storage classes. The Cloud Storage Consistent API, latency and speed across storage classes simplifies the development integration and reduces the code complexity. It is highly durable in nature. It is highly scalable and performant. Now, Google Cloud Storage is practically infinitely scalable whether you are supporting a small application or building a large exabyte scale system. It is strongly consistent and it has all the control over the data with much security. Now let us see some users of the Google Cloud platform. Google Cloud has a big user base from around the world. Many big companies like Motorola, Zillary, Philips, Vimeo, Spotify, Coca-Cola, and many more. These are just some of the users of the Google Cloud Platform in businesses across the world. There are two ways to use the Google Cloud Storage. You can use the Google Console. The Google Cloud Console provides a web-based graphical user interface that you can use to manage your Google Cloud projects and resources. When you use the Google Cloud Console, you create a new project or choose an existing project and use the resources that you create in the context of that very project. Or you can use the GSUtil. GSUtil is a Python application that lets you access the cloud storage from the command line. You can use the GSUtil to do a wide range of bucket and object management tasks, including creating and deleting the buckets. Now let us talk about some features of the cloud storage. Transition to lower cost classes easily. Configure your data with object lifecycle management to automatically transition to lower cost storage classes where it meets the criteria you specify. Multiple redundancy options. Cloud storage has an ever growing list of storage bucket locations where you can store your data with multiple automatic redundancy options. Easily transfer data to cloud storage. Storage transfer services and transfer service for on-premises data offers two highly performant online pathways to the cloud storage, both with the scalability and the speed you need to simplify the data transfer process. Storage classes for any workload. It saves cost without sacrificing performance by storing data across different storage classes. You can start with any class that matches your current use you can then reconfigure for the cost savings. But what is a storage class? Just as there are different types of hard drives, cloud storage offers different types of buckets that you can use to reconfigure in a cloud storage. These storage classes comes with different performance characteristics as well as different prices. Here are some of the storage classes. Standard storage class, Neoline storage class, Core line storage class and archive storage class. Let's talk about standard storage classes. When used in a region, 
standard storage class is appropriate for storing data in same location as co-locating your resources, maximizes the performance for a data-intensive computations and can reduce the network charges. When used in a dual region, you get optimized performance when accessing the Google Cloud products that are located in one of the associated regions. When used in a multi-region, Standard storage is appropriate for storing data, which is accessed around the world, such as serving website content, streaming videos, executive interactive workloads, etc. Now let's talk about Nearline Storage class. Nearline Storage is a low-cost, highly durable storage service for storing infrequently accessed data. It is ideal for data that you plan to read or modify on average once per month or maybe less. For example, if you want to continuously add files to cloud storage and plan to access those files once a month for analysis purposes, then Nearline Storage is a great fit. It is also appropriate for data backup, long-term multimedia content, and data archiving. Coming up next, we have Coldline Storage class. It is a very low-cost, highly durable storage service for storing infrequently accessed data. Coldline storage is better choice as compared to standard storage or nearline storage in scenarios where there is a slightly low data availability. It is ideal for data that you plan to read or modify at most once a quarter. Next up, we have Archive Storage class. Archive storage is the lowest cost highly durable storage service for data archiving, online backup, and disaster recovery. Unlike the coldest storage services offered by other cloud providers, your data is available within milliseconds, not hours or days. Archive storage also has a higher cost for accessing the data and accessing its operations. This was a very brief of the whole Google Cloud concept. You can learn in depth by signing up for a free class on Google Professional Cloud Architect Certification. Please visit k21academy.com slash gcppro02. Thank you.